What I want to do today is the quickest shag you've probably ever seen, but I want to show you guys some techniques. For me, what a shag is made up of is obviously short layers throughout the haircut. Like you could probably have a shag with even layers all the way around, but for me, I like kind of a rounded shape where it flows and gets heavier into the back a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today as well. We'll base this off of a center parting. What I wanna do is I really wanna pop some layers around the face, so I section it away. Now, I think the key thing first um, that I would say in pretty much every dry cutting scenario is to make sure that you prep the person and you don't just go in and start cutting their dry hair. Like when I would get a dry haircut in beauty school, they would say, just cut it and then you'll save time. Like you're not trying to save time cutting things dry. You're doing it for a certain purpose. So when I cut this, like if I lift this up here, all these little hairs, they separate, right? If I were to cut this wet, these hairs don't separate as much. So even if I went into point cut, I wouldn't be taking like soft little pieces out of the hair. I'd be taking bigger kind of like chunks out of the hair, which isn't wrong. It's just different. So make sure that you understand why you're going in and dry cutting and not just dry cutting to save time, like I said. All right, so I'm gonna clip away one side and I'm gonna do some elevated point cutting and work my way around the head. So I wanna start off in the front, take a diagonal, just like that. And then I'm going to lift up the hair right in front of me. And I'm going to pull that hair over to myself across the other side of the chair. And then I want to decide what length I want to start with. So where do I want this on the face? The higher the elevation that happens, the softer the shape's going to be or the density is going to be uh, on the face frame. So I bring it over here. Nice kind of medium elevation. This is pretty much 90 degrees at this point. So bringing it over, a little over direction to here, and now I'm gonna go in and point cut. And I'm gonna have a really nice broken line. It's still precise, but it's just shattered. And I drop that down. You can see the angle that starts to create because of the over direction. If I pulled this straight up off of the head, you wouldn't get that angle. You'd have a straight feel. Because I brought it over here, now I start to get that angle. Anytime you wanna push length and weight, you pull it away from where you want it to be. Take another diagonal parting, and that's gonna come right to the same guideline right across the head and a nice deep point cut in there. Then maybe I'll recomb because I'm starting to feel that density building up right here, and I'll just recut and soften just the edge of that section. So now I start to break it up in there. And I'll work my way all the way across the head, bringing that hair to the stationary guide. So then when you pull this back, you can see all these layers starting to happen in this haircut. Some shorter pieces you can always go in. We're gonna create some more layering in there, but that's the foundation of what this cut's gonna be. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. All right, now I'm gonna smooth it out just because what happens when you smooth hair for cutting is that you smooth it and it becomes very straight. Then when you cut these shorter pieces in here, they're almost poker straight because there's no bend to it because it was ironed longer. So uh, I'm just gonna go in the same way that I cut the hair and instead of elevating it like I cut it, I'll just bring it across the face and give it a slight, just a slight bend, nothing crazy. Now I'm gonna use this Joyco Beach Shake. This is a pretty fun product. Sounds like spray paint. It's not. Spray that in. And 
obviously if you needed to cut the length, you could cut the length first, wet, then go in, blow it dry, and then do your dry cutting. Mm -hmm.